गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम डॉक्टर आदिल अदनान हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन मेडिका ऑनकोलॉजी एंड मेडिका सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल कोलकाता आई एल बी गिविंग फ्यू इनपुट्स ऑन थायरॉयड कार्सनोमा थायरॉयड कार्सनोमा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन एंडोक्राइन मैलेग्नेंसीज एंड अफेक्ट्स वेमेन मोर कॉमनली दैन मेल्स वाइट मोर कॉमनली दैन ब्लैक्स एंड it is the most common uh, age of presentation is around the middle aged around 35 to 55 years of age about thyroid carcinoma it is uh, there are two types of cells in a thyroid gland one is the follicular cells and another is the c cells that are neural crest derived so both these types of cells they give rise to malignancies of their own type the follicular Uh, thyroid cell derived cancers are papillary thyroid carcinoma and follicular thyroid carcinoma and it has got a spectrum of uh, well differentiated to poorly differentiated cells and it has got aggressive uh, variants and the c cell derived thyroid carcinomas are medullary thyroid cancers prognosis wise medullary thyroid cancers do worse than the follicular cell derived thyroid cancers Now coming to follicular cell derived thyroid cancers there are papillary thyroid carcinoma and follicular thyroid carcinoma papillary being more indolent and has good prognosis than follicular and follicular thyroid carcinoma has more preponderance to spread in the body most commonly to the lungs and the bones whereas papillary thyroid carcinoma most commonly spreads into the lymph nodes and is uh, relatively more indolent than follicular thyroid carcinoma prognosis wise medullary thyroid carcinoma is are more the most aggressive of all the across the spectrum thyroid cancers and uh, it has got neuroendocrine component and uh, sometimes it is it has got syndromic associations meaning that it, it coexists with other types of cancers and tumors in the body and it has got worse prognosis now per se coming to um, papillary and follicular thyroid carcinomas the mainstay of uh, treatment is surgery followed by radio iodine therapy and for the medullary thyroid carcinomas the main uh, stay of treatment is surgery followed by uh, either a radio therapy or in most of the cases the observation now observation is done with uh, scanning different types of anatomical and functional scanning and uh, with the tumor markers now coming to what uh, what is the radio iodine therapy here and uh, radio iodine imaging and therapy coming to that part we have uh, in uh, in radio iodine scanning we have uh, a liquid medicine that is called radioactive uh, sodium iodide in which that iodine part is a radioactive part and that medicine is in form of liquid is administered to the patient orally and then a diagnostic when we give a diagnostic low dose of same radioactive iodine we get a scan and uh, that we sometimes uh, have to fuse it with the ct scan to get the anatomical as well as the functional information and when there is something on the scan post surgery we uh, take the patient for radioactive iodine therapy now for therapy it is the same radioactive iodine medicine that is given in higher concentrations for treatment in medica super specialty hospital and medica oncology we have a state of the art spect ct system on which we take radioactive iodine imaging and uh, that ct component is when we use it it is fused to the uh, gamma component from on the spect ct and then a hybrid image is formed which gives us the in, uh, the anatomical as well as the functional information and we localize what is residual disease that has left after surgery and how much is the percentage of that residual disease and whether any uh, lymph nodes are there in the neck or is there any distant metastasis to lungs and bones once it, it is confirmed that some residue is there and few lymph or or the lymph nodes are there or there is a distant spread 
we accordingly take the patient and uh, personalize the treatment according to the scan findings. And that treatment and that after the scan findings, we take the patient for radioactive iodine therapy. And for that, we have state-of-the-art four-bedded radio isotope isolation wards. A uh, few are with the capabilities of dialysis and uh, there is uh, like any other and these are all personal uh, single occupancy uh, units where we have the um, provision for uh, oxygen, the suction and two of the beds we have a dialysis facility attached to it. Thank you.